what is the best time frame for swing trading? Now in this video, I'm going to share with you um, what I think is the best time frame that you should be using if you're going to, do, you're going to do swing trading, okay? Now, if you are new to trading and you do not know what a swing trading is, okay? Uh, let me just start by explaining the uh, what swing trading is, okay? Why, you, why people actually do it, right? Before um, answering the question, okay? So what is swing trading? Swing trading, as the name suggests, right? Swing, you are trying to uh, catch the swings in the market, okay? Now, um, some people would want to catch, uh, you know, just the with trend swings, meaning if, you know, in this case, we're in a downtrend, for example, if you look over here, uh, you're in a downtrend because you have a uh, low, lower low, and you have a high and a lower high, okay? So, over here, if you are swing trading, then you are trying to catch this uh, high here, this high here, and you're trying to hold it for the move downwards, okay? So, that is what swing trading is. Okay, um, swing trading is not for everyone, okay, because uh, it needs a lot of uh, more patience, right, and also requires a larger stop loss because uh, you are trying to catch a swing. So, um, in a sense, you need to have your stop loss wider because if price swing against you, you need to be able to tolerate the uh, drawdown, okay? So, back to the question about uh, what time frame is recommended for uh, swing trading, okay? The straightforward answer is actually A, H4 and a daily chart, okay? So let me explain, okay? When it comes to swing trading, um, you are not looking to exceed your position within the day, okay? You are probably going to hold your position for um, three, four days, right? Perhaps even a week or two weeks, right? Uh, you have a short-term swing trading and you have the longer term, okay? But um, for the sake of uh, this video, let's just uh, stick to uh, probably just a couple of days, right? So perhaps uh, you have a full-time job, right and uh, you cannot be looking at the chart every day right you can only look at the chart uh, when you are back at home in the night okay so in this kind of scenario then uh, swing trading will be good for you okay because uh, you can't be you know touching your trades adjusting your stop loss uh, when you're at work okay you don't want your boss to you know scold you for that so that's probably uh, why you want to go into swing trading okay so why do i recommend the h4 and uh, the daily chart okay very simple because the H4 it represents a one one H4 represents a four hour candle right the four hour candle is actually quite reliable if you've been trading some time uh, you know that the uh, H4 candle is very powerful because it represents half a trading session right uh, half a trading session is normally about eight hours okay a uh, typical trading session lasts for about eight hours okay if you are new uh, you do not know about all this okay i have other videos talking about the trading sessions the three main trading sessions so you want to check that out okay but basically for our candle it's very uh it's very reliable compared to the uh, h1 candle right because the h1 candle what can happen is that you know you can have uh just before the uh, euro open it can be very bearish and during the euro uh, open it can be bullish right so you have that issues but when you're using a h4 candle it's much more reliable okay so what i would recommend you to do if you know you're doing uh you're doing swing uh, swing trading you want to do swing swing trading is uh you start from the day chart okay you start from the day chart okay and uh you just basically map out um support and resistance level okay so the good thing about uh, the day chart is that uh, identifying support and resistance levels are very easy it's a very easy uh, process because the levels are much clearer on the day chart okay this is also why i recommend uh you know new traders you know you are still struggling to start from the day chart because it's it's so much more obvious i mean if you look at it over here you can see that uh it's very clear this is resistant, this support, and this support. So your, your levels are clearer on um, the daily time frame, okay? So if you go down to the H1, it's more messy, right? The lower down the time frame you go, uh, the more messy the uh, chart is going to appear. So it's, it's going to require more skill, okay? So I will recommend you if to start on the uh, daily to identify the uh, the support and resistance levels first before going to the uh, H4 to uh, find through your entry, okay? So this is, uh, this is what I recommend, okay? If you want to swing trade, okay? So if you're new to our channel, 
and you're still lost and you need a strategy, right? We do have a free day trading guide for you. The, the link's in the description, right? Make sure you download it. Okay, that teaches you how to day trade. Okay, not really swing trade, but I do have other videos about how to swing trade. Okay, so I hope this answer a very common question, right? Which time frame uh, do you recommend? It will be the H4 and daily chart. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.